Islamic State has suffered a major loss defeated by Syrian militia in Raqqa. The city was once the extremist group's de facto capital. Here's Middle East correspondent Matt Brown. The so-called caliphate has crumbled and US-backed forces are celebrating victory in Raqqa. These were Islamic State militants parading their armory when they took control four years ago. Today, it was the US-backed fighters doing victory laps. We are living through historic moments for us and for the whole world. But look behind the jubilation and you see a city in ruins. After four months of siege warfare, very few civilians remain. The battle to free the city spared no one. Healing Rucker's wounds won't be easy. <laughs> Hundreds, perhaps thousands of civilians have been killed and thousands more injured. But for the US-led coalition and their local allies, this is a signal moment in the war on IS. ISIS in Iraq and Syria are all but isolated in their quickly shrinking territory. Three years ago, IS controlled a large area across Iraq and Syria, but now they've lost nearly 90% of their territory. For IS, Raqqa is a huge symbolic loss. The first city they seized on their march to global infamy became a symbol of their brutality and their power. Raqqa is the scene of the most gruesome IS propaganda videos of public executions and beheadings. They spread fear around the world. In reality, they were unable to withstand the combined assault of US air power and local militias on the ground. But that focused military mission won't last forever. And the next phase will be much more complicated. Hundreds of thousands of people have been displaced. Rebuilding Raqqa while Syria is still in the midst of a civil war won't be easy and underlying conflicts now are likely to come to the fore, undermining the chance for peace. Matt Brown, ABC News, Beirut.